Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Now your first card here is the nine, sorry, the Knight of Wands. A lot of inspiration, a lot of excitement, new beginnings, new energy, flowing creative energy as well. Two of Cups, this is the obstacle to overcome for the remaining of the month of June. For some of you guys, it could be um, having the need for balance. Uh, balance, for some of you guys, it could be releasing tension, releasing uh, anxiety. Uh, for others of you, it could be the fear of love itself. Now, your past and passing is the Four of Cups, a bit of boredom. A bit of stillness for some with the high priestess what they're saying here is pay close attention to the signs that are going to be surrounding you cancer now it could be a situation that you're dealing with um in regards to in regards to a partner a person of your interest uh that you don't know very much about um it could be that they are ex like extremely private um, but it can also represent if you've been with them for quite a while now, uh, what they're saying is that you got to pay attention to the things that are being hidden or that are being kept away from you. So as an example, if you've been dating a person for over two years and have yet to meet anyone of their family, but yet they know all your family, we got issues. Use common sense. Um, look at things clearly and concisely. What is it that they're really holding uh, you know, holding back from you. Um, is it, you know, as an example, if you've been with the person for over two years and they have children, but they have yet to introduce you to them, well, chances are that either they still haven't moved on from their, you know, previous partner or that they're not trying to, they're not thinking of you in the future so they don't really find the need to have to introduce you to their children. So what they're telling you here is pay attention to all of that uh, cancer. Now you do have the page of pentacles, something of a, some type of uh, collaboration may be coming to you. You have the empress card here and this is your advice card. So there is abundance or the uh, potential for abundant uh, type of energy again we go back to that of the night and the two of pentacles a lot of creative type of energy um for some of you guys it could be that in the past you've gone through a lot of difficult situations that not many of us have experienced um and what they're saying is that potentially healing comes from expression healing comes from being able to express whether it's through music whether it's through art whether it's through writing um experiences that you perhaps feel like you're the only one that's gone through that um but when you share it on a grander scale many people can really connect with you on that sense so for some of you guys i feel that you're going to be pulled towards following a new path or some type of creative outlook that is going to bring to you not only not only a a beautiful circle of friends that are going to be true and genuine but i think that for some of you it's leading you towards a path um it's leading you towards a new beginning in in almost I see someone coming through a door. So for some of you guys, it could signify love coming towards you. It's almost like you're on this path of either self-realization or uh, you're on this path of following your passions or following your desires. And that's opening up a door for you in regards to love. Now you have the Six of Swords being able to move forward. The Moon card, inspiration comes through emotion and the Page of Swords. So I think that what they're saying here is, again, the Moon can also represent uh, hidden things, things that are being kept in the hidden, things that are being kept away from you. If 
like I said, if you've been in a relationship for quite a while and you have yet to know anything about them on a personal level, it's time you start questioning that. Um, with the moon card and the page of swords, there is something that is being kept from you or something that is being hidden from you, but someone's fully aware of you. So this could be either people from their past or this could also represent, um, this can also represent kind of like ignoring your intuition, like alarms are going off and you're not really paying attention to that. Now, for those of you guys that are single and have been single for quite a while, it's been a long journey for you guys. I feel that with the page of pentacles, it's almost like it's so difficult for you to connect with people on an emotional level. Someone that is, you know, receptive to your energy. And what they're saying here is that you're on a path to a new beginning, calmer waters, something more stable, something more positive and optimistic in your life. And with that, um, you know, you're kind of in finding yourself or in the process of finding yourself, you find love. So again, um, beautiful, beautiful reading. You do have the page of swords here. So again, you know, don't hesitate cutting people out of your life, people that have done you harm, people that have done bad or have taken advantage of you. Stop opening the door to those people completely close and shut the door and walk away from that. I see you guys walking towards a better, um, more receptive type of energy. And again, like I said, for some of you guys, it could be that love is is finally knocking on your door. Open your heart and your mind up. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.